Hello and welcome. My name is April Ray, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. So let, let me ask you a question. Are you struggling to get people to take you more seriously uh, when you market your network marketing business on social media? Stick around because in this next video, I am going to go over the four steps that you need to take to get people more interested in what you have to offer, take you more seriously, and be more likely to join your team. All right, so stay tuned. All right, so welcome back. So you want to be taken more seriously when you're marketing on social media. I get it. I totally understand it. And there are four things that you really want to do right now in order to boost your credibility on social media. The first step that you want to take is that you need to position yourself as a leader on your social media pages. It doesn't matter which social media platform, it's across the board. You have to position yourself in a way where people will take you seriously. And it starts with your profile page. Now on Facebook, Facebook, we'll talk about Facebook. If your cover photo, or I should say your um, profile picture, has any kind of pictures of your family, your kids, uh, your dog, your cat, flowers, cars, logos, it doesn't matter. If it's not a smiling picture of your face, then you're going to confuse people. If you have more than two people in your profile pic, you're going to confuse people. They're not going to know who they're talking to because your profile page is the entryway to your opportunity, right? So you want to make sure that you have a quality photo. If it's professional, that's all the better. A quality photo of your face, your smiling face in that image. Um, if you have an iPhone or an I Android and you can't afford to do uh, professional photos, just go out and have somebody take a picture of you because these are high um, quality cameras on our phones these days. So you just want to make sure that your profile page um, sets you up as a leader and it starts with your profile picture. All right, so number two in order to make yourself more credible and people will um, take you more seriously on your business, you want to have a skill set. You need to develop a skill set. You need to learn about your industry, network marketing, direct selling. If this is especially your first time in the industry, you need to start studying up on it. You want to be able to understand the industry. There's a lot of people that don't know and they are new in the industry and they have no idea what they've gotten themselves into. They don't know the industry. So you want to be the one that takes that extra step to learn about network marketing, learn about direct sales. How does it work? Um, what your comp plan is. You don't have to know all the details, but you want to have at least a nice understanding so that you can teach people. You can teach your team about the industry. People are going to see you as a leader when you have a skill set and you have information that they don't. Another skill set that you want to have is how to market on social media. Most people want to market on social media. They don't want to do offline prospecting. Say you are uh, learning about how to market on Facebook. The more you know about how to do that, the more you you can teach people how to do that, the more people are going to be more likely to take you seriously about your business. They're going to follow you because you have knowledge that they don't. All right, so this positions you as a leader when you have a skill set. Master one thing and go about teaching people how to do it. Number three in the steps to make yourself more uh, credible and having more people uh, being more confident in who you are and what you do is you want to build your audience. You have to build your audience. If you're running around with say 400, 300, 500 people and most of those people are your cousins and your uncles and your friends or even people who are already in your opportunity, then you're not going to have the right people seeing your business opportunity, seeing you, seeing what you're doing. So you need to first develop your your ideal client, your ideal target audience. If, and if you haven't done that, you want to find a branding coach because that's the process in order to discover who your target audience is, who your ideal client is, who you actually want to work with and who you want to serve. So you need to know that information and then you need to go about trying to find out where those people hang out, right? What groups do they hang out in? Um, what pages do they like? Um, what gurus do they follow? You want to go there and you want to start building up your profile friends list with those types of people. Start friending 
befriending them, following them, uh, follow your favorite gurus, audiences, get to know them, create those relationships. When you get to at least a thousand people, Facebook, usually that's the number we don't know exactly but usually over a thousand or at a thousand they start recommending you to other people they start putting you on that list of people that you may want to know so build up your list that's gonna build your credibility and you're gonna have more people to talk to who are actually interested in what you have to offer and the last step number four is you want to have your online asset links on your profile page. So your online asset links are ways that people can find you in other places, whether it be your other social media pages, your YouTube channel, your blog or website. If you have one of those, that's amazing because that gives you amazing credibility and authority. If you have sales funnel, if you have a sales page that you can send people to, or uh, better yet, an opt-in page where you're sending people to not a replicated website of your company, and you're a, a page that they a static page, but you want to have an opt-in page with your business opportunity and people will have to, in return for finding the information and seeing that opportunity video, they have to give you their uh, name and email address where now you're building a list of people who are interested because they opted in. So they must be interested in what you have to offer on that page and send them to an opportunity video. And so now you are able to uh, develop that relationship even more and tell them more about your business from your list. All right. So that is it. Those are the four things that you want to do in order to build your credibility, build your, uh, position yourself as an authority and more people are going to start taking you seriously and your business opportunity seriously. And they're going to be more apt to want to join your team. So that's it. I, if you got value from this video, please like and share with your besties. If you are, in some, if you are watching me from my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you can get notifications of when my videos come out. And if you want to know more about how to build your audience and build your credibility online, click the link below. And uh, I have a free video that's going to teach you everything you need to know about how to have people take you more seriously and build your business on social media. Okay, so I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.